Zach Bertrand from TriStateFootball.com here at Centerville Stadium after the visiting Elder Panthers have put up a 33-14 victory over the Centerville Elks. I'm here with head coach Doug Ramsey. Coach, congratulations on your first victory tonight. What does a week one victory against a program like Centerville mean for the rest of your season? Does it really well, set the tone high oh, for you? Definitely, it sets the tone. You know, we needed to have a win here. You know, we, it, it, our schedule's so difficult. Uh, you know, we needed to get a win out of the box. And, you know, we beat a good football team tonight. You know, we come up in here in a hostile environment, and and, and, and I told the kids, I, I thought we really took the game physically to a physical team. Uh, one of the big question marks in the preseason was the running game at Elder, but Cody Fox and Jimmy White did a tremendous job of splitting carries and making plays happen. Combine that with the play of your offensive line tonight. Are you pleased with uh, your running game tonight? Definitely. I think that's, you know, some people might have been worried about it, but I, I, going in, we knew we had a chance to be able to run the ball. You know, we got four offensive linemen that are back from last year, and, and I knew Cody was going to be a good back. You know, he's, he's one of those guys you look at and you're like, he can't be any good. He's little. He's this. But he's as tough as anybody, and he understands how to be a running back. You know, you watch him. He slows down. He's slowing down because somebody's going to hit him. He's slowing down because he's reading the block. You know, and he just slides in there, and he did a great job. Jimmy White did, and then A.J. Birdie running the ball as well. So we've got some guys. We've got big linemen that, that are athletic and, and, and tough kids. And so, uh, you know, teams are going to keep packing it in. It's going to give our, our, our passing game, you know, uh, more of a chance. Now a great night running the ball like that takes a lot of the weight off the shoulders of quarterback Ben Gramke and wide receiver Jeff Vorher. Are you expecting them to have breakout games next week against Lakota West? I hope so. I hope that, you know, if, if somebody's going to, if West is going to stack the box, you know, then, then uh, those guys need to, to take advantage of that, you know. And, again, I think we've got a, a good experienced wide receiver core, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I think we're, you know, we're a good solid. I think we can be a good balanced offense. Obviously, tonight we ran the ball a lot more. I mean, we were concerned about some things that they did in, in, in pass rushing. Although, I thought we did a great job of, of protecting. Uh, but we, we felt like we could run the ball more effectively tonight, and, and obviously we did. So Centerville receives the ball, they drop down the field on the first series and put a touchdown up, and then that transitions to the elder defense forcing four turnovers in the second half. Uh, adjustments at halftime, did they really make a difference tonight on defense for you? Uh, there's no adjustments. You know what it was? The guys settled down after that first series and started to play the way they're capable of playing. You know, they uh, they started to tackle. You know, reading their keys and, and doing the things that they're supposed to do. They're capable of. And uh, and I thought our defense was good tonight. You know, I guess I told guys earlier. Really, the two scrimmage tapes that we got, Centerville was going up and down the pe on the field on people. You know, and and I you know I thought this game could turn into a shootout, but you know our defense did a great job of keeping them in check. Well, this has been Zach Bertram from TriStateFootball.com out here with Elder Panthers head football coach Doug Ramsey. Coach, congratulations again on your week one win. Thank you very much.